We're back with another video. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man, and today we seeing we talking about um hold up who who texted me talking about Gordon Ramsay is cooked now. What I read from the title was that he got robbed. Something like that. But I don't really know the story. So without that being said, enough wasting our time. Let's get into the video. Gordon Ramsay can't currently enter his $16 million pub because it's been taken over by squatters who are threatening to sue him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's your favorite Mexican Ranko here. Hope you're all doing. Oh, I was just watching some about this about two, a few weeks ago. Squatters, what the fuck is? Why ain't no law to get rid of squat, bro? If y'all do not know what squatters are, squatters are literally people who can who come to your house and live and actually live there. And most of the time, you can't in certain states you can't do none. In other other various states, it's against the law to do that. But in states like states like New York, fuck, I I can't. That's the only one I can think of. But yeah, I said, nigga, what? Nigga, what? How much a motherfucker would come out? It's boop, 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 boop. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just stop. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Well, today I'm not doing too bad myself, squatters. If you don't know who squatters are, I just gotta say I'm sorry in advance for informing you about their existence. Squatters are people who live rent free. And I mean literally. They just break into people's homes and live in them without the owner knowing. And in this case, they're breaking into a pub. It's so weird with these squatters because they have this victim complex that somehow makes them believe that they deserve an entire house to themselves without having any motion. Having motion means you have money and opportunities. These squatters don't have either, and they never will if they keep continuing with what they're doing. So now you might be thinking to yourself, okay, Pancho, so now I know what a squatter is. What does this got to do with Gordon Ramsay, though? Well, hate to inform you, but his famous restaurant, the place he's known for, just got invaded by squatters, and they're not letting anybody in, including the cops, including the public, including Gordon Ramsay. They just completely locked it down like a fucking GTA mission. They robbed this man's restaurant, bruh, but they decided to stay in it because they're broke and motionless people. And also emotionless because... This is Gordon's spot, bro. Why do y'all have to do Gordon like this? Actually, I don't even want to know because their reasoning I know will be some bullshit. Like, oh, we live in an unfair system and everybody deserves a place to stay. It's like, bro, in this lifetime, financially, all you can do is stop complaining, get a job, stack your bread up. And honestly, there's still room for complaining, but you're not going to have too much luck with that. You're not going to get a pacifier or anything or free money or any crazy shit like that. I mean, I guess you could file for unemployment. But by that point, it's like, come on, dude. I know you didn't apply for like 20 jobs in your city. You're not doing what you could to stack your bread up and get a better situation for yourself. That's what it is with these squatters. They're not trying in life, bro. They're just lazy people and also entitled people because they feel like they deserve a spot to stay when they're not paying for anything. I wish we could live in a perfect world where you didn't have to pay anything to find a place to live, but that's just not. I wish. I really wish I could do that. Mm -mm -mm. Hold up, y'all. Yeah. But if I could, if we could live in a world like that, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be no killing, it wouldn't be no, bruh, I'm talking about, there wouldn't even be no conflict in most places, but we live in a world where money rules everything. The people at the top, the one, the one percenters, they, mo they say that they don't di dictate none. It's full of shit. But anyways, back to the video. 
real. That's not, that's, we're so far from that. I can't even see a world like that in my lifetime to where nobody has to pay for a house and we can all have a shelter. Like, let's be real. That shit's just not happening. And you got to live with the circumstances that you're given in this life. And for people who are in like, you know, lower income situations, it's going to be a lot harder for them. Um, but I wouldn't give up on will and determination and discipline because those values can get you really really far in life you have no idea and they can completely change your situation for you if you just discipline yourself to stay persistent and applying for jobs having the will to get out of your fucked up situation and having the determination that you will do this and you will accomplish what you want in life hey i'm turning into a motivational speaker now come on now david goggins hit me up listen 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 i say all of that to say that these squatters are just entitled and lazy people. No doubt about it. But let's check out the situation with Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay can't currently enter his $16 million pub because it's been taken over by squatters who are threatening to sue him. Hey, I know those squatters are living good, bro. $16 million pub? Ooh. I bet they got a hot tub in that bitch. Seat massagers <laughs> and all that luxury shit. <laughs> but yo, squatters, this is Gordon's stuff, bro. Y'all are not the ones who are supposed to be using that hot tub. The squatters hung this legal letter outside the pub door saying they will take legal action against anybody who tries to remove wait hold on i'm so confused what isn't it how do you have money to go print a paper out but you ain't got no money to get a house nigga what it's, just, it's not adding up niggas is moving backwards nowadays what the fuck that shit sounds stupid Supposed to be the other way around is squatting illegal in the uk hold on hold on hold on nah i know uk is on bullshit with their laws so let's see and here's what really blows my mind what these squatters are doing is not illegal god damn it bro the uk is big tripping you know we can just have people living in other people's homes without the owners knowing and without paying rent that's totally fine that's a normal thing to do as a human being it's a basic human right for shelter pretty sure that was an australian accent but anyways back Back on topic, these UK laws, well, this UK law is stupid as fuck. Like, what about the homeowners, bro? Do they just have to accept people potentially breaking into their homes and living there? And when and when the owner realizes the squatter's there, they can't do anything about it? Like, what's going on? Like, what are the details behind this law? I gotta know. According to English law, occupation of a non-residential property is not a crime, which is why the police haven't gotten involved. Ah, I see. So squatters can't do this with homes in the UK, but they can do it with restaurants. <laughs> like, like, what the fuck, UK? Yes, guys, so you guys can invade restaurants and feel free to live there if you want, but you can't do it with homes. So random. This is giving the squatters mad confidence. They're currently using the pub as an art class and posting these photos onto their Instagram page. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Okay, I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I figured they weren't going to be doing anything productive in there. I mean, listen, art's cool, and art is productive. I shouldn't say it's not productive, but in their circumstance, uh, doing a little bit of art is pretty unproductive. They should probably focus on getting a job. I don't know. That one might help your situation out a little bit. Maybe you won't have to find a restaurant to invade, and maybe you'll be able to sustain a life for yourself with this job. But I won't say it again. I know that word is really scary for squatters. I'm sorry. My bad. Gordon's got to be pissed off right now, bro. He's got to be annoyed beyond belief. I don't feel too bad for him. I mean, it sucks, obviously. I feel bad, but I don't feel bad to the point where it's like, you know, really pitying him because he's doing just fine in life. And I'm sure it's not going to ruin his life just because a few dumb asses want to invade his restaurant and live there. He'll be fine, but it still is like an inconvenience for him. That's got to be like, what? Imagine your restaurant just being invaded by squatters. That's the last thing I'd expect. Yeah, these waste suits even made their own Instagram to try to gain public support for their tomfoolery. It's looking like they might be there for months maybe even years because eviction processes are a nightmare to complete bro by this point gordon you just gotta go in bro go in and you know do what you do best bro flame them cook them i know you can't put your hands on them because you know the law is protecting them you know they'll probably act who can't gordon can't i will fuck you're not gonna come look 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 come 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 come, come, come here you're not gonna come into my fucking establishment Thinking that you, thinking, thinking, thinking that you, thinking that you can take my shit. It's, it's, it's not gonna happen, sister.
brother, whoever you are, not not me, not big OG. You got a better chance tangling with, with God and the. Well, that's what, what they're going to be doing anyway. But anyways, back to the video. Bitches, but you can definitely flame them. You could roast them and post it on TikTok or something. Maybe that'll get enough public support to where they'll change the laws. That's the game plan right there, ladies and gentlemen. Bro, I just, cool, Gordon, I just tossed you a layup. You might as well alley-oop that bitch and dunk it. Go handle business, bro. We're all rooting for you. I'm sure Gordon wants to go in there and snap those dummies' legs in half. But he can't because if he hurts them, they could sue him and win millions. I can't blame the police for this because they're not the ones calling the shots. The politicians who allowed for this to be legal are the real idiots. They make Justin Trudeau look somewhat smart. Bro, watch Gordon... <laughs> Watch Gordon actually decide to just kick the door down and take back his territory and start recording them and just he starts flaming them like look at all these knuckle sandwiches motionless fox in my pub I've been had motion since birth look at all these motionless little pricks in my restaurant oh Gordon you got to make it happen bro the people are rooting for you I just gave it the gameplay man don't fumble this bro take the alley oop anyways ladies and gentlemen let me know what y'all think about this situation with Gordon Ramsay and let me know what y'all think about squad what i think about it it wouldn't happen to me she wouldn't happen to me can rest assured that because i'm not gonna live in no place where squatting is legal fuck but anyways hope you made it to the end of the video new to the channel like i said subscribe it's your boy ogt me i'm signing out